Good day to you, Internet. Uh, this is a little video that might help out some folks. I had, have, an Igloo freestanding freezer. This is a 5.1 cubic foot model. Here are the specs. And this was purchased at one of your big discount clubs. Currently, Igloo does not seem to have these models any longer there's my dog helping me out with this video and it quit running and this was the problem I've already disassembled it so you can see it I'll put it together for you so you can see uh, what it looks like on your unit this is referred to as a relay and inside of this box is a ceramic disc and whenever the thermostat calls for the freezer to cool, the power goes through this ceramic disc and then into your motor. And unfortunately, this particular ceramic disc ran into a problem. It broke in half. And when it broke in half, therefore, there was no more current able to flow through it. And even though the thermostat was calling for heat or uh, cooling, the freezer would not turn on. So this little device snaps together like so. Those two prongs go on to the compressor motor and then these connected to the thermostat and to the line for power. This would then plug onto the motor itself and I'll show you where that goes. Down on your motor, right in, let's see if I can get these wires out of there, right in there. Now you'll also notice the black and white piece. That is what's known as an overload protector. I wish I could get a better view of it in here for you. Um, and I looked online and I saw a lot of these devices seeming to fail. So I looked up the part number, which is on the end here. Let's see if the camera will focus on that. There you go. QP 2-4.7 G12. It's a 4.7 ohm device. No one that I seem to notice anything on the internet knew what the G12 meant. So that part, according to various sources, was around 50 bucks. But some people suggested installing one of these. Now this one is a power start. You can also get these with and without a run resistor. Sometimes these are also known as three-in-ones. And the installation on this one requires that the piece here, your overload protector, be left in place. You can see the black wire is connected, comes out, goes around, and that one leads back up into the thermostat with your different lights to tell you what's going on. Then the white wire from the thermostat here gets hooked to your power start unit, goes inside the power start, the black comes back out, goes back into one of the posts for the motor. In this particular application it's the right hand lower post and the white line from the power start went over to the left hand post on the motor. There are two optional red wires that on this application is not connected and that could have been connected back there to another capacitor. That's the start capacitor. The people at the refrigeration place where I bought the start unit 
so that I could hook that up to the red wires and that would act as a run capacitor instead of a start capacitor. But I did not hook it up that way. Um, for those of you that have one of these Igloo coolers, it's also manufactured under the name of Thompson. I've seen some Frigidaire units like this. The compressor is um, a Wanbo, Wanbe, whatever they say that. Uh, and then it also says Hunong, Huong. Um, that little start unit was at my local refrigeration supplier for about $20. So I thought that that was a much beefier unit than trying to replace it with that little piece there. I did see these pieces without that G12 marking listed on eBay. They were anywhere from about five or six bucks the whole way up to 10 bucks, depending on how many you bought. But uh, if you have one of these types of freezers, either in the 5.1 or in around a seven cubic foot amount, this little piece is what breaks and you can either replace it with the part on eBay or on Amazon or wherever you get your stuff or with one of these start capacitors those are a little bit beefier you can save your $150 freezer with a $20 part I hope this helps out some people good luck out there